Oh, so, 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 so. Yeah, Milo is on uh, Legion of Skanks talking about um, his, uh, uh, his flight from Gayness. He is departing from gay land. The gay lifestyle. Uh, I guess becoming a true American. <laughs> and it's really funny. This is the thing about Milo, Milo Hippopotamus, um, the man who put the bright in Breitbart. Um, here's the thing. Like, he's one of these guys who they'll deny that like gender is a social construct, but being gay is. But like, it seems from what he's saying, it seems that it's easier for me to put on a dress than it is for him to stop sucking cock. And he even announces that he had a relapse. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's already he said he had sex like twice, I think, in a year. Or yeah, last or some shit year. like that. He was like, I'm just right now. I'm starting at cutting out the gay sex, and then I right. start to want. <laughs> I just like finish. And if you're wondering what of his <laughs> motives is, is how much of this is a publicity stunt? We found a nice little excerpt right here. Uh, yeah, pretty much all of it. Yeah. Mike, great. You're a gorgeous man. It's a big loss for the community. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why they're mad. Um, but the thing is, my great mm -hmm. gift. I'm not. You know, we know each other, so mm -hmm. you know that I'm not somebody who is prone to endless self congratulation Sure, it's not your thing at all. Bragging. You hate it. <laughs> no, it's, it's not, not your thing. game. It's Never not. has been. I'm humble. God, big James. <laughs> I am in fact the best at being modest. But um, it's like he was attacked by a but, hot topic. <laughs> <laughs> he always has. Well, if you look at, like, old clips of him, he's real, like, he was, like, in the 90s, like, super wigger. Super 90s? Yeah, he was just, like, wigger. He still has a wallet but, chain, but, right? Like, he'll, yeah, he'll talk about it. He's just, like, but, like, back in those days when you were fat, like, that was pretty much the only choice you had. Was he's got, to, like, dyed red hair. He's dressed like a wigger. Like, fingerless gloves, and he's still rocking a wallet chain in 2021. Dude, I respect him for being able to Oh, do listen, hey, let your freak he's flag a, fly. He's, he's a lot more confident. He's exactly. got a lot more confidence than fucking Milo is demonstrating. <laughs> but where's the speaker at on this thing? Uh, I think it has them on both because the audio output is good. All right. It's loud. There's a part that he says on here. He says a lot of stupid things on here that I remember, but this is the part that I really want ever to share. <laughs> no, but um, one, one of the things that... I am good at, although this is incidental to my, you know, spiritual journey. Um, Finger banging? He's like, I found this out. Nah. Now I'm straight. Right, 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 right. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. Um, it is, is just figuring out how to say true things that I do believe that are happening, but just in a way that makes them go... Um, and so there's a playbook for people who are, you know, black and conservative or gay and conservative. And, and let's face it, we're all sick to death of that shit at this point. Um, there's a playbook. For I think everybody's sick to death saying, I can't be a bigot because I'm this. Dude, you stopped it right at four minutes, 20 seconds. Fucking nice. First of all, you laugh and then you say that it's a grift or for attention uh, or for relevance and then you say oh it's self-loathing you pathologize it turn it into a disease to try to minimize the sincerity of it but they didn't really have a playbook for what i just did to them um so we're, we're, we're looking out now on a beautiful vista of spluttering confused furious and impotent leftists and that hasn't happened since the last time i was in the news so yeah, so what he's saying what he's saying is that is that the left doesn't know what to do they're freaking out because now Milo's going into gay conversion therapy. We don't know how to respond to that. And everybody on the left so far, as every time they deal with Milo Hippopotamus, is they're laughing at him. It is funny. It is fucking it's hilarious. Kind of like, He's on a seen? comedy show. It's the like, first people that called him was a comedy show. Yeah, I think he actually was kind of, I think they might have had a guest drop out and he was like a last minute. The, did you see <laughs> He was part? available. It's uh, episode 524 of Legion of Skanks, Clam Bandit, if you want to give it a watch. Oh, but yeah, like, Clam Bandit. He's a Clam Bandit. You get to, he what says that's it? what he goes by now that he's straight. He's he's the Clam Bandit. He's which a rapist. Is kind of rapey. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> he's said the same thought I had. But the, he's stealing pussy. But there's one part where they're just talking all of a sudden. He goes, am I going to get to read the ads? I want to do that. And Dave's just like, yes, you'll get to read the ads, my life. <laughs> and then they just get back to their... Co 
<laughs> and you just out of nowhere is just like, you guys said I was going to be able to do the ad reads. Can I? Do Why does this? he want to do the ad reads? Because he's a, he's a fucking attention whore. He just <laughs> they gave him an opportunity to do something. They're like, hey, you can fucking. I guess no longer gay it up a, a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, he looks physically bad too, like seriously, physically ill. Like, yeah, like it seems like he's hard to bear. I think, I think, I think he's falling apart. Here's the thing, though. Here's the, this would be um, when he said the the thing about they try to pathologize it and say it's self loathing. He literally loathes being gay. He said that on like Rogan. He was like, I don't like being gay. So, like, this is it sincere, is but that's so also, but he goes, well, to minimize the sincerity, but that is sincere. And you know what this, this reminds me of? There was a, um, Solomon. And he was Jewish. Like, he converted to Christianity, well, and that's he what wants made to him want to go straight. Yeah. Well, he wants to conform to what, to, to what he supp- But that's two levels of self-loathing. Yeah, dude. Here, here's the thing, though, but, <laughs> the but this is such a yeah, cuck move because, because... He his career didn't fall apart because, you know, he's always trying to be edgy by saying like like he like confuses being edgy with being wrong about everything, which is, is his mo. Like for instance, he said on this thing, he said like uh, like you you uh, that there are more uh, black uh, gay people than there are white gay people because there's an absence. Gay, the the number one predictor for for being gay is, is an a, absence of fathers. Father. It was just bullshit. Yeah, and I looked it up. The number, like the numbers of gay, uh, black gay population matches the numbers of the black population in general. But but here's the thing, like like Salman Rushdie, when he was, um, but anyways, he was ostracized by the right. He lost his job at Breitbart, all because he fucking said that he. Uh, when he was 14, he fucked guys in their 20s, and he loved it, and he was the aggressor, and they taught him how to suck dick and all this fucking shit. And Miles that's said why, this? Yeah. Oh, shit. I Bill Maher said the same thing about Mary Kay Letourneau. Like, basically said he had a, she had a right to fuck 13-year-old boys, and nobody blinked an eye. But, any, but the right, this anti-cancel culture, all this sh- bullshit they say about cancel culture, canceled him. And his response... Reminds me of when Salman Rushdie had a fucking bounty on his head by the Iranian government. And at one point, Salman Rushdie became so desperate that he converted to Islam in hopes that the bounty would go away. And it didn't work, of course. Because it was all a publicity stunt. It wasn't... Because it's so, bullshit. Oh, did he change his name too then? No, no. His, he was always named after... Because isn't that, doesn't, isn't that a common thing when you convert to... Of uh, Islam, not a, is to like change your name. If your name is Cassius Clay, if you're named after a slave, well, well, Ron <laughs> Artez, that's a good point. I guess not if you're actually from well, a Muslim well, culture. I think Kareem Abdul Jabbar had a different name at yeah. one point, um, and uh, Ron Artest did it. That's but, an American but thing. Ron Artest, he changed his name to Meta World Peace, <laughs> and so like. I think that was like I don't even know if he was Meta World Peace. Yeah, I don't even know if he was still playing basketball whenever he did that, but I know that he played in the like uh Ice T or Ice Cube rather. Yeah, Cube. Started like a weird like three on three pro basketball league and it was like XFL. Yeah, but yeah, but it was half court three on three, so it was pretty much just older uh players that wanted to play uh, ball cool. but didn't have the knees to just keep running full court, you know. I want to play a horse basketball league, and and uh, he played in that league, and so it'd just be world peace with the three, and like I'd be like, oh, and world peace. And it, it was a jail. world world peace, and then all the BLM protests happen, and they bring back basketball, and they let everybody have like the Black Lives Matter and and world peace and all that shit on their jerseys. Like Ron Artest was the first of that dude. He legally changed his name to be able to put a, a positive message on the back of his jersey. I like Mo, most Def changed his name when he converted to Islam, and I was like, well, "You don't actually have to change your name. You already did. It's most Def. It's like yeah, not your real name." Yeah, that's a good point. He's <laughs> like, "That's my Muslim name." But I mean, yeah, but the, yeah. So he's doing the same fucking thing. 
is he's like, is he's, uh, is he's like, he's being a fucking cuck. He's just like, will you please forgive me now that I've, that I'm reclaimed. But this is what I would do. If you actually, if he had actual balls and actual brains, this is what you would do. You would go into a gay conversion therapy, right? And then immediately just start sucking as much dick as possible. And then you write an expose on gay conversion therapy. And you don't even have to change any other, you don't even have to stop lying about stuff or anything about climate change or anything. All you got to do is do that and they'll put you back on, they'll put you on MSNBC and CNN where you can fit in a little better because he only really works in five minute drops. Like he barely, at his 15, peak of his 15 minutes of fame, he could barely last five minutes. Yeah, if you minutes. watch that, he's hard to bear for, for. He's so uncomfortable. It's really funny. He's so awkward and so uncomfortable, and like he's trying to like roast them and shit, and he's, they're not even. It's, it's going really, right over their heads. I mean, I think they know they just aren't even. It's not even worth acknowledging because they're comics in New York. Like that's how they. No, they you just, know, They're the best at that kind well, of they shit. Well, they 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 fucking they just used his uh, gay conversion therapy as a is a fucking running joke. Oh yeah, they're the making, whole they, yeah, thing. the whole time they're like, "Whoa, this is straight Dude. Milo." Okay, <laughs> this is a different guy. That was when Milo was like penis. This was Milo was gay. That was when Milo was gay. <laughs> Shit's so straight. Yeah, dude, but he'll never do that. I don't, this is this guy's fucking. Yeah. So did he? His whole thing was is just having political views. And, like, getting popular through that. Just like, being wrong about everything and doing it in a very flamboyant kind yeah. of gay way. So, it's just weird. So, even... so all the conservatives thought it was funny that he was like, eh. And there was a thing where they could say, well, I'm gay, therefore, if you call me a racist, I'm not. You know? And I have sex with black men, so therefore I'm not a racist. For some reason, in conservative circles, they think that works. That doesn't even fucking work now. Like, I just... I'll call a fucking... I don't care what color you are, I'll call you a fucking racist. And then they'll be like, and then it'll go, and they'll be like, well, I'm this. And then I'll be like, I don't care. I'm like, your fucking mental issues aren't my fucking problem. <laughs> Stop being a fucking racist then. But yeah, dude, he got banned from a furry convention. That's hilarious. Over yeah, this dude. or like, or, oh no, over, or did over. He get kicked out of a furry. Convention? I, he registered at a furry convention. You have to register ahead of time, and I guess they were going to have a panel, a furry convention panel. <laughs> <laughs> you have to register. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Well, because you know they want to put some kind of roadblock to make sure you're serious. <laughs> I guess that's true. I, guess I don't that's think. True. I think furries get annoyed with the all the fucking. I guess that's true. Be a tree, like, this isn't a zoo, and they're that's dressed up like a bear. Idea. That's a decent idea. <laughs> you're like dressed like Hedy Rexpet, and you're like, this isn't a zoo. <laughs> but, but they had a panel on, like, sex in the media or something like that, and he's like, and he contacted the organizer and said, I registered. I'd like to be on the panel. And then they're like, well, you registered? Oh, wait, no, you can't come at all. And then they, re they revoked his registration. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, listen... Furry is cool, but we do not like gays. All right, <laughs> that's that's also you're why a little he, too gay. Yeah, he's like, I'm also converting to being straight so that I can go to this goddamn furry convention. And he's I've like, No, I'm super straight. And he's like, No, that just means gay. <laughs> Isn't that true though? Like, if you're if you're straight, you're straight, right? Yeah, I okay. think so. I'm, and by the way, you always hear like women. Um, complain about how guys straight guys they always freak out whenever uh who's here uh you always hear this complaint about straight guys when you friend zone them they freak out but i'll tell you what man i friend zone straight guys all the time and they never it's freak cool out. right yeah they never freak it's out. about how you handle it just <laughs> act like you've been there before that's what i gotta say about it yeah he's super straight that means like that means way really straight I mean, he's hella straight yeah, it's we're weird. not just heterosexual. What is we're that even? really heterosexual. Like, well, dude, did you hear about pa uh, the Papa John's guy? He like put out a statement, and, he, and like it's like a video, and he's just like, "I've been training." Oh myself yeah, I've been training myself not to say the N word. To get that N word just out of my head, like he's trying to go through some weird. Yeah, like, but nobody hypnosis. knew he was saying the N word. It, no, he got in trouble. It came out like in a video. 
like probably a year or so ago, maybe longer even. That like there was a video or like a tweet or something. I don't really even know for sure, but he got caught saying the N word. <laughs> and so uh, it's just so funny though. It would be great if there was a guy that like had that program. And just like, a, are you a celebrity that got caught? Oh, like the like N-word? racist conversion therapy? Yes, dude. Yeah, That'd they they great. they try that. They try that. Yeah, they they, they try that for corporations. Usually, like, so just... corporations can avoid lawsuits. So they have these uh, programs. I forget her name. Um, she's a moron, though. I we I got a clip about her called the the uh, woke Jordan Peterson. I forgot her name though. She's an idiot. She wrote. She came up with this phrase, "white fragility," which is a bullshit phrase. And um and uh, uh what they find in these studies is that it just it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Like the only way, the only real way to cure somebody's racism is for them to have a more diverse Yeah, it's uh self true self realizations. <laughs> well you just have to have coworkers who are black. Yeah. That that helps. Or Working. a different race, you know? And that usually does the trick, but you know. Conversion <laughs> there. <laughs> Although that's kinda of backed out, that's backfired on Milo but he because doesn't even you, you know what? That's and see maybe that's Milo's problem. He just doesn't hang gay people probably just don't like him. Gay people don't fuck with him, dude. Yeah. And so he's not gay around people gay people, like, so listen. he doesn't know that it's a good thing. Yeah, gay people are just like, listen, edge lords are fucking stupid. Okay? Us straight guys out here trying to get laid and like beg, all wishing wishing to death the Although gay conversion being, therapy worked. I will say being an edge lord is one of the most straight guy things you can do. So he's got that. Yeah. <laughs> that shit. We should make t-shirts to say edge lord. So, Lord of Edge. Lord of Edge. Ledge Ord. That's what it'll say. I'm such an edge lord. I'm so into edging. Yeah, that's right. I, I never come. I'm going to do that joke again and tell me one more time. What? My dick is so big, it's like a conspiracy. My dick is as big as a conspiracy. There's no telling how deep this thing goes. Okay. I guess. I mean, it could work with the right crowd. Yeah.